but seeing them and seeing everybody you know wanting to basically propose to uh, the king that you know Rainier marries them and then gets established in their house and then that heir would become king basically they would just mm -hmm. walk themselves right to the throne and you know we saw multiple instances of that you know and he was like as as you said the king wasn't really going for that like she he wants the best for her but she really can't see it based off his actions, you know, because even to her, he's not being the best leader as a father. Because that's like the weird thing. Like we do a two year time jump mm -hmm. and technically already. Wait, how old is Aegon? Yeah, he's two. Aegon's he's two. two. Yeah. So three, three, three total years. years the last episode. Yeah. And somehow you haven't talked to Rhaenyra that you're still the heir no matter what. I know I'm having a boy. Mm -hmm. Hey, everybody coming to the birthday party. Like, Rhaenyra is still the heir. Like, everyone is already like, all right, right so you're ready to switch it over? Right. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, bro, it's, did you not hear me in the last 20 meetings? <laughs> right. And it, it holds true to uh, what the, the what, was, what was her name? The crownless queen or something like that? Uh, yeah. The auntie. The, um, the queen that never was. The queen that never was, right. It goes back to what she said, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, the, the realm will never accept, uh, accept a woman yeah. as king. So, you know, he could keep saying it all he wants, but, you know, until people really believe him, it's just it's just words at this point. Like, he'll eventually yeah. come to our side. Like, he'll understand where we're coming from. It'll be best for the realm. Um, but, you know, just seeing not only his interactions with Rhaenyra, but also um, Alicent, who's queen now, uh, her reaction and her uh, interactions with Rhaenyra is very interesting now, too, because it's like at first it was best friend versus princess. Now it's queen versus stepchild. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's Two time and best friend that's doing my dad now. <laughs> right. Like they got beef. They got real beef. You know what I'm saying? And um it's it's crazy how you know they a lot of times like Tarkans will refer to themselves as dragons, you know, like you saying like her father not giving her the the not respect but the the confidence in his decision makes her feel like she's a toothless dragon you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like she doesn't feel like she's the heir and nobody really looks like at her as that she's the real heir and yeah. it's all his fault you know what i'm saying yeah. and and you would think you know with if if allison really wanted to get back in Rhaenyra's good graces she would try to mend that maybe spit something to to him pillow talk whatever it is to <laughs> like you know help her like really establish herself as the next heir but obviously you know she had a son and now it's just like but like even that you're right in a hard like, place why, why is it so hard for like pretty much the crown to be like this is the heir like yeah we're walking into this event for my son but y'all not even treating the heir with like no respect like she just walked in and there was nothing everyone's still drinking mary all this type of thing but right. even like the queen, the queen, even this episode, she gets that nudge from from the hand mm -hmm. from her dad. Like, you know, you got to let Otto. him understand. Yeah. Otto's like, you got to let him understand that Aegon, you know, Aegon got to be the one. Aegon's right. got to be there. Right. But it's like three years have passed. And it's yeah. like now we're seeing this type of plot like, hey, you got to nudge him in the right way. But it's yeah. like. Wouldn't have y'all have already kind of been in the process of hey, we gotta respect the area after yeah. one year. Like, did this fade? Did this there's gotta be some type of procedure that goes into other than like the little yeah. naming day of like, you know, all the all the clans or whatever they come and show their respects. You know, there's gotta be something else that, that other than being the cupbearer, you know, that, yeah. that and she was doing that before, even before she was the heir. You know, but it's just like those things haven't really been put in place. So this three-way yeah. tie to the crown, you know, between Aegon, uh, Rhaenyra, and and Damon, it's just like it's still neck and neck at this point. You know, Aegon's a baby, but he got people working in the background, you know, trying trying to make make things shake. 
you guys enjoyed that clip make sure to tune into the rest of the podcast here on youtube or on your favorite audio platforms just search up why i'm geeked and you'll be able to find it thanks for listening leave a comment and i'll see y'all in the next one